Welcome back. Now for a study in a whole different realm of science, quantum physics. A local research group at the University of Maryland has made a breakthrough in teleportation. And as Brittany Morehouse reports, we're not talking beam me up, Scotty. It's just not quite that flashy, but it's almost as impressive. I certainly hope in the future everything on this table could be shrunk down to a little... Just spend one hour with Professor Chris Monroe and your brain gets tired. That single particle of light then we collect through a little optical fiber. The Here's second hour gets a little easier. Quantum physics is not hard to describe. It really isn't. Okay, try us. The, the fundamental law of quantum physics is that is that quantum object can be in two states at the same time. But it only works when it's shielded from the environment. And you have to understand that to get why he and his students are breaking a major quantum barrier by isolating and shielding two separate atoms and using light with microwaves. We moved information from one atom about to another atom about a meter away. And the way we do it is rather mysterious because there's never any, that information never really makes the trip. And that's teleportation. It was a significant step uh, was the first teleportation between distant matter qubits. Major step because it could mean guaranteed secure communication. We're talking spy stuff here. Sending secret messages. Another long-term goal of their research, improving computers. Today's computer could take years to read one encrypted code. But a quantum computer would be able to do that factorization exponentially faster. So instead of years, you're talking about a day or something. There's two misunderstandings people have about what they're doing here. One is that it's instantaneous. Two, that someday they'll be able to teleport a person. People aren't quantum mechanical. They're too big. They're too big. I know, I know, it's heartbreaking. But these scientists promise 20, 30 years from now, it may not be Mr. Spock, but it won't be any less cool. But it's invisible um, on, on my finger. You Brittany Morehouse for 9 News Now and WUSA9.com. Very cool indeed, Brittany. Well, the University of Maryland physicists published the results of that study in the journal Science. This was the first time they allowed a video camera in there since they found the breakthrough.